That's what I get from everybody. Everybody in this house. I'm just so tired of this. No, leave me alone. Leave me alone. I could take you on a pause if you're down. I might put an ass on snows if you're down. Maybe we could break the rules if you're down. Just let me know, yeah, if you're down. Love if you're so showing up with you. Like, baby, when I fall, you pick me up. Like, you bless me with. what's up guys welcome back to another video so guys liana is back at it again and we have london with us okay so let me tell you guys you guys know i like to prank shit when it comes either to the kids or like the family or you know where it hurts or like a, a cheating type of prank or whatever so here's the thing I'm gonna make London act like she's done with me. Like you have to say, Mom, I'm done with you. I I wish I had another mom. I wanna leave this house. Say things like, I never wanna talk to you again. Why did you have to be my mom? You have to say those hurtful things just so we could be able to convince dad so guys i'm gonna make her say that just to see his reaction right just to see london isn't a teenager yet but kids do go through this and i think she's old enough she's about to be like 10 kids go through this from different ages and i'm not saying it's okay you never do that i love you guys I love but her. i think it could be realistic i think it is very very realistic I think we could get him that way. So I'm just basically pranking him that London is being, she's hating me. I'm just pranking him that London is hating me. And let's see what he does. I'm sure he's going to be heartbroken by that. And he's never seen London like that. So guys, I want you guys to like, like share, share, subscribe. subscribe and turn on the notification bell. All right, turn on the notification bell and tell me what you guys think about this. So London, you ready? Full acting. What's up, guys? We're gonna pretend, I'm gonna pretend like I'm teaching her to get all the answers wrong. I'm gonna try to get mad. She's gonna disobey me, say some mean, say mean things, okay? And when dad comes in, say more mean things. All right, ready? All right, London, so this is subtraction. Anytime you start subtracting from this side, right? You start from the right all the way you go over to the left. Those are the rules. Don't ask me why. That's how it goes. Now, anytime the top number is lower than the bottom number, you have to borrow next door. Okay? So this five, you cross it out because it's no more, it's no longer a five. You're gonna borrow one from it. Now it becomes a four. Then you bring over the one, and now you have 15. Okay? So the one gets combined with the five. The 1 will not be added to the 5. It will not become a 6. It will become a 15. Okay, so now it will be 15. Take away 6. Will be how much? I don't know. 2. It's 9. Three. It's not 3 and it's not 2, London. It's not 3 and it's not 2. Are you kidding me? I work so hard to help you. To make sure you get the best schools. To make sure that you on it. I don't want to do this math work anymore. It's tiring me. It's frustrating. What is frustrating about it? What is frustrating about it? The math. What about the math? London, you have to do it. What's three times three? Two. London, three times three is not two. I can't take this anymore. I wish Seriously. I had a new mom. What? You wish? Excuse me? I wish I had a new mom. Why would you say that? Because I'm tired of this math work. What do you mean you're tired of... London, what do you mean you're tired of the math work? I don't want to do this anymore. So you want a new mom? Yes. That's the best thing you could tell me? Wait, wait, what's going on? Everything that I do for her, she's telling me that she wants a new mom. No, wait, wait, what's going on? Are you guys here right now? I'm so yes. serious. London, stop talking, my please. Do That's the best thing you could do? All you could do here is sit down and just hurt my feelings, saying that you want a new mom. That's what I get from everybody. Everybody okay. in this house. Okay. I'm just so tired okay. of this. Okay. No, leave me alone. Leave relax. me alone. Hey, relax. Relax. Please, Please, just leave me alone. Just leave hey, me alone. Here. 
Yeah, I'm trying to teach I'm her. Teacher. All she gets at me is I want a new yeah. mom. Yeah. Like, yeah. you think I deserve that? My own daughter telling me that I want a new mom? You don't deserve that, babe. Let me talk to her. Honey. Please, just leave me Why alone. Why would you say that to your mother, honey? Well, you have to do it. You have to do it. She thinks it's That's a joke. Cool. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. The only person who's going to work this hard for you is me. Lennon. And you have the nerve to say that. Why would you say that to your mother, Lennon? You have the nerve to say that. You want you want another mother? How are you going to say that? Yes. So you said it because your mother is helping you to do your work? You don't want to do your work? You don't want to do your own work? Mm. Why? Because it's frustrating and tiring. Well, you, you have to do that. it though. Life is not easy. Life going to be hard at times. You're just going to give up and not do it? And you go say that to your mother you want a new mother? Do you think that's nice? think that's nice to say? That's a nice thing to say to your mother? Mm -hmm. So why do you, why do you, why do you say that to your mother? I'm tired of the math for it. It doesn't matter how angry you get or tired of You don't say that to your mother. That's, that's hurtful stuff to say. Everything I do for you, that's the best you can do. Now I go outside, something happens to me. Then how are you going to feel? Come on, Lennon. Do better than that. You know better than that, mommy. I'm done. I don't you want to talk to, to nobody. Yeah, I'm just on. so done with everyone here. Lennon, I'm disappointing you right now. I'm, I'm really disappointing you. You have to do your work. And you know that already. Right? You know that. Why are you getting frustrated that you don't want to do your math work? I don't understand. You have to do your work. And your mother was helping. You're gonna say you don't want you want a new mother. You know what your mother is doing. For you? you know why your mother is doing this. You know why she's doing it and pushing for you to do your work. You know why? You think it's for a bad reason. You think it's because she don't like you. It's because she loves you and she wanted better for you. She wanted best for you. You know what important school is. A mother that take the time to sit down and help you go through your math problem. That's very very important. That's a mother who love you because she could be careless, not not care if you do your do your work or not. That's a mother you want that don't care for you. That don't care where your education go, don't care if you know the read or don't care if you know the math. That's the mother you want. Come on, Lana, you know better than that, mama. I'm disappointing you right now. You go, you're gonna do your math work and we're gonna go through it together. And I don't want you to say no hurtful stuff to me, your mother, or anybody in this house. Cause that's mean. You're being very, very disrespectful saying that you want a new mother. Why would you say that? If my, if my if your mother should die tomorrow, how do you feel? How do you feel? If your mother should walk in this house and die right now, how do you feel? You feel happy because you say you want a new mother? Think about it. Think about your words, man. Sometimes we, we say words we don't mean and not create a scar behind it. We gotta be careful of our words. Cause that's very, very deep, mama. Don't say you want a new mother. Don't say go of angry because oh, you don't want to do math. And the fact oh, that she's trying to do it for something that's important for your future, man. And it's cool. You think school's not important? Sit up. Sit up right. I'm talking. I'm talking. Sit up right. Sit up right. Put your foot down, please. I'm talking to you. I want you to look like you really want to hear this and listen to take the school serious, school work serious, okay? I don't want to get upset. I'm talking to you. I want to understand you. I don't want you to understand me as well. I'm saying to you, like, what you said to your mother right now, you should have not called for. You should have never said that. I understand you're upset. I understand you're angry. Well, let's be careful of what we say when we're angry. So, so now... So do you really mean that? Yes. Why would you ask that? She don't mean that. No, no, what do you mean yes? No, no, I just talked to you. You, you keep hurting my anger. feelings. And you think this is okay? Babe, listen. I'm sorry I should have to say that to you right now. No, this is what I ha babe, moms listen, have listen. to deal with. This is what the moms have to deal with. Babe, you're amazing. You're a great mother. I don't want you to know uh, that. Let me but talk. I don't talk. feel Let me that way. I don't talk. feel that way. You are a great way. mother and a great wife. I can't believe she babe. had the nerve to say that. Let me talk to Lana real quick. Lana, you said it again. You said it again, Lana. What's wrong with you? What's going on with you? Huh? Somebody bothering you at school? What's going on? What's going on? You want to talk. What's going on, Lana? I'm frustrated. Why are you frustrated? Because of this math work and I have to do so much of it. Okay, you're frustrated because of math work and you have to do a lot of it. So you feel the need to take it out on mom. Because mom is helping you with your work. You think that's nice? Think about it. And you just say to your mom again that you mean it. Are you serious right now? Do you, do you see how privileged you are? Do you, do you look at your life? Do you look at life you're living? Anything you want, you get it. Look at your house you're living. You know what I'm saying? You got parents who go out their way to make you happy. And you're going to sit here and look at your mom and say you want another mother. Do you know what another mother will be able to do for you? Do you know? Mm -hmm. You know, having another mother doesn't mean that it's going to be better than your mom you have right, have right now. Say, for example, you, you want another mother. Say we should put you up for adoption right now. And you're not own another family. Think about it. And let's give an example. Now, say that's not happening. And you're not own another family right now. And it's a mother that don't care for you. Don't care for you. Don't care if you eat. You think that's okay? Don't care for don't care if you do anything. You can be on the phone all day. Don't care for nothing you do. You think your life gonna turn up better? Mm. 
Let me tell you something, because I was once seeing sugar and flag, I was angry at my mother because she was so strict on me in my school. And I become old and I get to, I thank my mom. I thank her. I regret I regret being angry at her as a kid because she was trying to push him for, me, for me to push and do my schoolwork. Schoolwork is very important. You're going to learn to do, you're going to learn to read, you're going to learn to do math. It's, it's certain things in life that you need, learning. And in life, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be really, really hard. You can't give up when stuff gets hard. You're frustrated and get angry and say stuff that you don't mean. Because I'm pretty sure you don't mean that. Because if your mother should die right now, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure you're going to be sad. You're saying hurtful stuff to your mother right now. And I'm talking to you. Like, like, put your foot down. Put your foot down, please. And sit up. I'm talking to you. Because I don't like that. You see the privilege that you have right now? You can lose it in a matter of a second like this. I appreciate it. I appreciate the life you have. I appreciate your mother. I appreciate the one around you. I appreciate people who are there for you. You see, this right is very important. A person who push for your education, who push for your future, the person who love you. Understand that. A person who don't care for your future, the person who don't love you. Don't care what you turn out. Don't care what you want to be in life. You want to be a scientist, right? You think to be a scientist, you're going to just not care for schoolwork? When things are hard, you're supposed to stay walking in college. You're supposed to stay going to drop out. Now, let me tell you something. Life is hard. Life is really hard. And you have it easy. It's privilege. You're very privileged. I wish I had the, the resources and appearance that you had when you in, when I was growing up. I wish I had that, that support system. I didn't have it. And I have to struggle to get it. And you're not struggling. You got it right in front of you. So I want you to take it and take advantage of it. I stop saying bad things or mean stuff to your mother. And I'm being serious. From this point, if you continue to be like this, mommy, I'm telling you, you don't get nothing from me. I'm being serious. Stop being mean to your mother and learn to appreciate life. I appreciate. Why are you laughing? It's a pain. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> that way, no, no, no. <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> Hello. How do you feel? How do I feel? Yes, I'm Mr. Griffo. Well, yeah, I mean, wait, wasting my breath. Daddy. Guys, we go. How did you feel though? That was pretty emotional. It was. It was very hurt. It hurt me, you know. Me too. It hurt me, but also I kind of reality check with kids, right? It's it's a thing that kids go through because I've been through that stuff. Yeah. When my mom was so strict on me in school, he was just over her. <laughs> I feel like just mad at her. I feel like I don't want to be doing this. Well, we don't understand the benefit of it until we're older, until it's too late. Right. So I'm happy that. I'm happy you actually had the conversation with her, even though it's just a prank. Yeah, yeah. I love you guys. London, tell them like, share, subscribe. London, tell them like, share, subscribe.